All right, you guys. So welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my um, blueberry banana vegan muffin um, with three bananas and one cup of oat flour along with these other ingredients. So I'm going to start by introducing all the ingredients that you're going to need to make this quick recipe. So again, we're going to start with three bananas. You have some blueberries. Um, we have some red mill egg replacement. A little bit of baking soda. We got some coconut oil. Um, we have organic oat flour. In another video, I'm going to show you guys how to go about making oat flour so you don't have to buy none. Okay, you're going to need a measuring cup. I got some apple cider vinegar here. You want a little, some measuring spoons. You're going to need a little bit of almond essence. And I already showed you the coconut oil. And this is the one I'm using. It's a Kirkland uh, virgin organic coconut oil. Okay, so this is what we get. So the first thing we're going to do is put our drying. Well, we're going to start with our wet. So we're going to. Um, peel these three bananas and add it to the bowl, right? I mean, this is real easy, simple, um, healthy dessert. Not a lot of sugar because I'm not putting any in. We're going to depend on the bananas for our sweet. And I'll taste the batter afterwards to see if I like it, the sweet, if it's sweet enough. And then I'll maybe add like a little bit of maple syrup if it's not so. Let's finish adding these three bananas to the bowl. And this is going to be the wet stuff. So after we add the three bananas, I mean, no particular order. You don't have to put it in any particular order. So you add your bananas. Next, you're going to go ahead and add, I'm going to add the coconut oil. Then I'm going to add... A little bit of this apple cider vinegar the apple cider helps the muffin to be very moist so I just add like a little bit of that a little bit meaning like less than a half a cap right I'm gonna add that in then I'm gonna add a little bit of this um, almond essence this one is by Watkins It's really good you can uh, pick it up at Sprouts. That's where I got it. And half a cap is fine. This is really strong, like I said. So um, half a cap should be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a good mash using... Uh, let's see what we got. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this little whisk and just crush the bananas like this. Okay, so we got all our dry ingredients here. I forgot to mention to you guys, you're going to need a little bit of baking powder also. So make sure you have some of that. Okay, so one cup of our oat flour. Then we're going to put half a teaspoon of this baking powder. Sorry, baking soda. That's what this is. This is baking soda. You know, the kind that you put in your refrigerator to keep your food fresh. That's what we're using. So half a teaspoon. Okay, then we're going to use one teaspoon of the baking powder. So I'll just use two of the halves, making one. Then we're going to add a little bit of this Watkins uh, cinnamon. Okay, you can put how much ever you like. Depends on if you like a lot of cinnamon or not. Um, not too much for me. Okay, then we're going to want to give it a pinch of salt. I'm using a little bit of uh, pink Himalayan salt. You can use whatever you like. Not too much because you don't want your muffin salty, of course. But just a pinch to bring the flavors in. Okay. There. All right. So then you go ahead and mix up all the dry ingredients together.
Mix it up real good and make sure your flour doesn't have any lump, making it easier to mix all the ingredients together. Okay, that should be done. All right, guys, so now you wanna go ahead and just dump your dry ingredients. One more thing, I forgot to add a little bit of milk to the wet ingredients, not much, but Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of this um, oat milk, vanilla milk to the wet ingredients. Not a lot because you don't need a lot. The banana is already moist and wet, so you're not going to need a lot of this because you don't want your muffins to turn out soft and soggy. So that should be fine. I don't know. That would be like a quarter of a cup is what I put in here. Because remember, you're only working with three bananas and one cup of flour. So you want the ratio to be good. Okay, so go ahead and dump your dry ingredients into the wet and give it a good mix. And you want your batter a consistency that's not watery, but kind of thick. Still able to pour, but still a little thick Kind of like this, exactly like this, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and add those blueberries in. So just go ahead and dump them in. Your muffins are going to turn a little bit of the color of the blueberry, but that's fine. And the blueberries are gonna help with um, the sweetness. So again, you don't have to put any sugar or uh, anything to make it more sweet. The blueberries and the bananas should be enough, should be enough, but you can taste the batter and see if you like um, how sweet it is. So let's see. Perfect. This don't need anything else. And if you let your bananas ripe a little bit more, they'll bring out more sweetness, more of the sugars in the banana. And it will make you not need to put any, any sugar in your um, muffin. Okay? Making it even more healthy, less sugar. All right, you guys. So this is what it looks like. So now we're going to get our pan greased. I'm going to grease it with the coconut oil that I used to put in the batter and um, get to baking, all right? All right, bonus tip time, you guys. So we made this really good and tasty, and it will be tasty as soon as you taste it. You'll see um, muffin, healthy muffin. So the bonus tip is we're going to add now a little bit of this sea moss to our batter. Yes, you can add a little bit of the sea moss to your, add, to your batter to give it some more nutrients and vitamins and all that good stuff that sea moss gives you, all right? So we're not going to add a lot. We're just going to add like a, a tablespoon or two to oat. So that's like a tablespoon and that's the second one, all right? Go ahead and mix that in. Okay, so now I got my um, muffin pan here already greased and ready to go. I used my coconut oil to grease it so it could keep that coconut flavor and keep the flavor all through the muffin. So we're going to go ahead and just add it to the pan. Okay, so this is a good consistency. You don't want it too thin and you don't want to fill the... Um, the pan too much, the muffin pan too much. You wanna do it about half the way so you can give it a little room to spread. I know I'm using this and it's making it a little bit hotter, but it's okay. Let me go get the spatula. Okay, so you just kinda of wanna half the way. You don't fill the pan too much. Don't fill the muffin pan too much because it's gonna spread over, all right? Okay, 
so you want to use one of these. Don't use the, um, the mixer like I did. It just makes it hard and it makes a mess. But that's when you're being lazy. So, okay, so we're going to do it the right way. And we're going to get all our batter this way. So if you use one of these um, silicone spatula, see, it cleans the whole thing out really nice. And you can kind of guide it into the pan. So go ahead and, okay, fill your pan half the way, each one half the way so you can have um, the same size muffins. All right. Don't forget to experiment with your, with your muffins and your desserts and your food, you guys. It's by any measure necessary. So you got to measure and taste and measure and taste until your recipes come out tasting good. I mean, it's trial and error. That's what you want to do. Okay, if something tastes like it's missing, add it to it. So this pan holds, let me see, I think it's 12. Three, six, nine, twelve. This pan holds twelve. Usually, from three bananas, I usually get nine to ten. Yeah, actually, I get ten this time. Let's see, three, six, nine, ten. So I got ten this time. A little baby one here. Okay, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in the oven for 25 minutes, 25 minutes. Check it before 25 minutes, just in case your oven uh, carries heat in certain areas uh, more so than the other. Depending on where you put your pan, it can take um, get more heat than other areas of your oven. So 25 minutes, but check it in, um, in half that time and we'll see where it's at and check to see where it's at. If it's finished, take a toothpick, stick it in the middle, and if nothing comes off on the toothpick, then your uh, muffins are done and ready to come out the oven. Sit them on the side and you can eat them after about 20 minutes or so. Okay, you guys, I think it's done. I did this in 25, let me see how much minutes. This was, oh, it's hot. I did it on 400 for 25 minutes. Now you gotta let it rest for about 20 minutes and then you could transfer it onto um, a muffin pan, uh, muffin dish. And there you go, you guys. I'll show you what it comes out like in a second. Okay, you guys, moment of truth. Our blueberry banana muffin is done, made with oat flour, okay? As you can see, nice and soft, all around. Perfect. 